Hey guys, this is Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. Today we're gonna to cover form settings, how to customize columns in different documents and forms. This is gonna be a basic course series. I know that I've been doing a lot of B1UP stuff, so today we're gonna to cover some more basic stuff for new users. And hopefully there's tricks in there for some advanced users as well. Do any of you guys play Apex Legends? I'm really into Apex Legends. I'm looking for some squad mates. If you do pay, play Apex Legends, add me, Battleship Cobra on Apex, let's play. So as mentioned today, we're gonna cover some basic topics with a little side of some super secret little tips and tricks. So we're gonna jump into the system and look at form settings right now. So what are form settings? Everybody starts with SAP with these marketing documents. And you know, as you're doing your implementation, perhaps you didn't customize these a heck of a lot. Maybe you have these all default and you know, you have a bunch of messy columns and you can see here, um, we have all sorts of columns and extra stuff. Look at all these extra UDFs and things and they may not be applicable. In a perfect world, these would all be customized exactly to every single user, but that's not always the case. And sometimes it's better for each individual user to kind of tune what they need. You should have to only change it one time and then it'll stay exactly how you want it and it won't affect other users. So um, the question would be then, what can you edit? So with these columns, you can hide columns, you can show columns, there are still a lot that are hidden. You can move columns and you can even rename these columns um, so that you can have them be more co in context with your business. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's start with hiding and showing columns, okay? So when you have the, when you have the particular document and the particular matrix that you wanna edit, I'm just gonna go back one here. Um, this has to be active, so I'm on this particular one that I'm using. Then I click Form Settings up at the top. So this is where everything is going to happen. And you want to go to this table format, not row format. I, I actually don't. It seems like it should be row format, but it, I don't even know what that does. It's table format. So you go here, and you can see all these different things. Type, item, BP catalog number, item description, barcode, etc. all these other different things, factor. So you can see all of these particular things and you can check or uncheck them. So if I go warehouse, uncheck, okay. Now it's gone. Form settings, table format, warehouse, boom, shows again. So you can show and hide. And if you scroll down, um, certain versions have the search bar you can scroll down and you can see maybe there are other columns that you do wanna see and you can look through those and add the ones that you want. If it's really confusing to you, you can go to the context help you, by pushing F1, pushing F1 from your sales order and that should give you the description of what each of those columns are. Um, or you can go to the online SAP Business One Help. I'll try to put that in the notes below. Uh, and also don't fall for the rookie mistake here. If you go to form settings and you go through here and then you sort it, you think, oh, that's great. I'm just gonna look for the fields I want. And you push okay. All that's going to do is it's gonna sort all of your columns by uh, in alphabetical order. And then you're gonna have to start literally from restoring defaults. Don't do that. If you're fortunate enough, you can search through here and it'll go to uh, where that column is. De -de -de, block no, and then that'll go down to block no. Okay, cancel. Um, so now what you have is active or inactive. So certain things you don't need to change, like um, some aren't active, but say like you don't, you're not searching by barcode, you just want it as a field there. Um, click your form settings, click your table, uh, uncheck active. So now you'll notice that you can't click in there. So I could also make say item description, oh, uh, visible but inactive. So now I can't click in there. So if I go, if I tab through and I go there, I, I don't, I can't even click in it. It's just there, I can't edit it. So it's just there so I can view it. So certain cases that's really good. Um, and I'll show you why in a second, I'll make those active again. So I had a question from someone on LinkedIn and uh, the question was this. I'm gonna to go to journal entry, journal entry. So in here, you know, you wanna go six, click factory expense, tab, tab, 
150 tab. Oh, what? So now I have to pick, I have to pick something or I have to use my mouse to skip it. Same with distribution rule, ref, ref, ref. I have all these extra things. But if I go around, I can keep quickly, you know, I want to enter this quickly. Oh, wow, it's so fast. But then I get to project, it's like, it's irrelevant. I don't want to use it. So what can you do about that? You can go through and using your tab order, you can actually just remove these particular things or make them inactive. Again, maybe you don't, maybe you don't want to see them. Maybe you want to see them, but you don't want to be able to interact with them. So you can uncheck, let's get rid of distribution rule. Let's get rid of project. And let's just get rid of these references on the row too, why not? So now you have a nice clean journal entry. So you can go here, tab, 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 150, tab, tab, tab. Then you can go six, da -da 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 ding. If you know the codes, you can do that. 185, tab goes to the next one. Da -da 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 -da. Travel going da -da 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 -da. So you can just add things kind of like this, right? Really easy. So it's very quick. So your tab order can be impacted by the number of fields you have, and you can make this really clean and quick. So another little trick while we're talking about this is your view fit column width. So this is always going to fit your column width. So if you have a bunch of fields and they're like over underlapping and all squished up together and you, or you have too many things, view, fit column width, and it's gone. So that's a way that you can skip it. And this was the solution to, I'm sorry, I forget your name or I'll, I'll leave you anonymous, but I'll let you know that I made the video. And um, this is the solution. You can also reorganize the order of these particular columns. So let's say we're scrolling over here. Well, I'll show you how to mass hide these two. I'll show you how to mass hide all these extra UDFs. You, in, a, in a more mature system, you're gonna build up a lot of extra UDFs. So let's first get rid of all these extra UDFs. And then I'm gonna move ex, uh, extended description foreign. I'm gonna just rename this. I'm gonna put extended description and I'm just gonna put that up there with item description. Maybe you have an extended description, another UDF in your uh, particular item that you use. So let's go form settings, table format. So we wanna get rid of all these and we don't have to go click, 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 click at the first one, scroll down, click the end, boom, they're all gone. Thanks Darcy, I have to give you some credit. Click extended description, turn that back on. So now you can see I have less things. Maybe I wanna get rid of my freight one, freight two, maybe I'll get rid of all these other ones too. Uh, total's good. Freight one, freight two, was probably experimenting with that. Country of origin, don't care about that for this example. Okay, so it's all clean. But now I wanna move extended description over to item description, okay? So what are you gonna do? You can go through here, go down, da, 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 and you can left click hold, drag it. You see how it moves? But there's a little trick here too. You can drop it on the column. If you wanna make it zoom all the way to the top, drop it to the column. See, it's gone, it's all the way at the top. Left click, hold, drag down, boom. So maybe you just want the extended description, you're gonna use a formatted search or you're gonna use, use a B1 validation. You don't need it active for whatever reason, so you can click that, okay. And boom, there it is, extended description. You have it right there, view, fit column width. And you're all good, you've moved a column around. So the last thing I wanna cover is um, renaming columns. And this is not something that you wanna do kind of willy nilly. And if you're not the administrator of the system, you will affect all other users. But you can see that this is called warehouse, WH. You can hold control and double click and it'll rename the column. So this is warehouse, restore, and it'll go back to warehouse. Or in this case, I just typed over warehouse. I usually like to do ones that I've overwritten in bold, but this works for any label in the whole system. So you can change any of these to other things. Again, if you go crazy and it's your specific context of what you wanna call it, you have to remember that all of the SAP reports are gonna use this verbiage. So if you're like posting date, this is my, this is my accounting date. It's like, yeah, that's true. I can call it accounting date. But in some cases, you are just going to screw everybody up because you go to run a financial report. And unless you change all those labels across the whole system, it's not going to make sense. So just be careful of what you change. Some of the things like if extended description, you can call this some industry term like, you know, this could be like extended dimensions. And then that will make it more contextual to what you need. 
but uh, you're still leaving the, the key SAP Business One terms in place. Thanks for watching, everybody. Connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.battleshipcobra.com. Connect with me on Apex Legends. Battleship Cobra is my username on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna to continue to do this basic training series. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye for now. Thank you, friends. Make some progress, I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me, maybe